guys, how's it going? Decoy with a, another commentary for you finally. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for not having any content up in the past two weeks. Um, my mom recently broke her leg while hiking, and I basically just been taking care of her, making meals for her, drink, and helping her get up to the washroom and whatnot. And basically, everything in her daily life that she can no longer do because of her broken leg. Um, she actually went to the hospital the other day that I got checked, and she had surgery, which she had like the next day. So she's doing a lot better, and hopefully, it's only going to be like another two weeks before she can get her walking cast on and get moving again, and then everything will come back to normal for me. It was actually a good time though because um, I'd been volunteering for the past five months, maybe as I'm applying for teacher's college and I have to build up my experience profile. So this is right in the transition period for me from uh, volunteer work into actual work. So I had to save, some money for, save up some money for school, so this was a good time to have that happen. Well, I guess there's no good time to have that happen, but if that had to happen, it, this was the best. <laughs> anyway, other than that, um, yeah, I got some search and destroy for you guys today, which I've never really tried and I never really got into search for some reason and the past week whenever I've been able to get on my buddy uh, Blank and I have just been tearing it up this is probably my third or fourth game of the night and uh, I did really well actually the end here is kind of a fail because I failed to realize the time and where the bomb is and instead of trying to plant and get the guy to come to me I try and kill the last guy and he just kind of runs and hides. So I just sped it up. I kept trying to, excuse me, shoot in the air, kind of get him to come to me, just in case he got greedy. But he did his job. He held it out and I got the loss for the round and they all made fun of me. No, I, I don't really know if they did or not. <laughs> but yeah, we got the um, 50 cal with Desert Eagle Kimbos. And the Desert Eagle Kimbos are honestly not that good. They just look really badass. So that's why I'm using them. Plain and simple. Uh, the 50 cal is a lot of fun. I think it's superior to the intervention in almost every way, save accuracy. And that's what you can tell by the amount of hit markers you get with the intervention versus uh, 50 cal. And the intervention seems more reliable, but. In reality, they do the exact same damage, and uh, the 50 cal has a higher rate of fire, so it's better. Um, pistol Kimbos are one of the only secondaries I use now. I actually haven't touched a shoddy in a few days, because the swap is unbelievable. If, if you run up on a guy and are expected, you can hit Y or Triangle? PlayStation guy, help me out here. I think it's Triangle. And yeah, your pistols will be out instantly almost. It's like 0.5 seconds or something like that. And no other secondary in the game will do that except the the Raficas. Raficas? Raficas. I think it's Raficas. So yeah, they're uh, a really good secondary to use. And I think it'll get used to in a good trigger finger. But once you get down, you'll be a big fan of it. The USPs are something to take note of as a secondary, because when you have them akimbo, their knife animation is messed up. Instead of doing the normal knife animation, it does the one where if you have a tactical knife, so it's like stab, like a cross chest stab instead of the the like swiping motion it usually does, and that makes it do kind of double the damage. You get a tactical knife and you get friggin' akimbo USPs, so... Really something you should check out. A lot of people have been liking them too. Most of my friends, my friends list, have been giving them a try and really like it because you shouldn't need your secondary unless your primary is out of ammo, unless you're sniping. So like, you might as well have something that will change out instantly, deliver an insane amount of damage, like the USP Kimbo, if you can fire them super fast, you can get out like three or four guys in a single spray. I've done a few of them. And they're very reliable. Just, um, you gotta watch your range. I'd say keep it like 
range your range, maybe. So, like, half or three quarters of this room. Where I'm facing right now. And uh, this is a fail. A lot of fails in this game. <laughs> and I try for the fair life. But this is a situation where the Akimbo fails on me. The, the hip accuracy really doesn't work out sometimes. And with the Desert Eagles, the only pistol in the game with the recoil, it can really uh, offset your aim. So keep that in mind when you're choosing it. Definitely go M9 or USP. The Magnums I would not use because there's no real benefit to them. They don't lose damage over range, as well as the Desert Eagle, I'm pretty sure. But, like, you only get 5 rounds versus, like, 15 or... I'm not sure these enemies were 12 with the M9. So it's definitely a good call. And uh, here I actually just fast forward to the... Or skip to the end of the round because I died really early. Doing something really stupid. I ran right across the middle of the roof and or that not the roof that walkway and was playing in the open, so I deserve to die on that one. I think in this situation though I'm up to another clutch. I'm not too sure. Oh okay, I remember I hear the guy planting and I'm just kinda of chill in this area. Yeah, subbase is um I'm not a big fan of it. On like uh, domination headquarters, but on search, it's awesome. I don't know what it is. It like it forces action on you. There's no real good camping spots, and you can rush effectively. You can you can play defense effectively. It's just it's a really balanced map. Actually, I, I really like it. No side seems to benefit more than the other. Is usually when you have when you're on defense, it's it's a joke. You just sit there and wait and pick them off as they run at you. Uh, especially on a map like Rundown, where there's only three options you can go, but here you can go like middle, you can get upstairs, you can go around back. It's really balanced and a lot of fun. Uh, tactics wise though, I want to talk about this. Um, I don't know many search tactics. Ugh. Any search tactics. Um, I don't know, like the only thing I know is to bait people out by planting the bomb because you can hear the click. And like that's that's about where my knowledge of search ends. Like, I don't know, give me some tips, guys. Straight up, um, what's something you like to do in search that you find particularly helpful? Uh, one thing I, I picked up on was the use of counter UAVs and how effective that can be at just blocking the other enemy's UAV instead of having to switch to the cold blooded or if they're smart enough to wait 15 seconds so you can't change your class. And yeah, that was something I picked up on quite early and it seemed really effective. But however, I learned a more effective way than even using counters, and that's one man army. Now basically what I, oh that was cheeky. Um, what I like to do is make my first class one man army with, who cares what's on it, ACR silenced, let's just say. And then for the first 20 seconds of the match, I will just kind of chill and take it slow. And I will react to my class change based on what's going on in the game. So if a UAV comes up, then I'll go UMP, cold blooded silence. No UMP but a Harrier, I'll take out my Stinger class. It really just gives you the added choice in the game and you never can really get caught off guard and get surprised because you're always anticipating what's going to happen next and you'll be prepared for any situation. And you can't really say that on search. A lot of times the Harry will go up and it'll be like 30 seconds in and I'll be like, oh man, this isn't going to go too well. But yeah, I really like search. Uh, expect a lot more videos and oh crap, uh, before I end this, I have a bunch of GB matches I'll be posting. I was wondering what you guys thought about that, and I know you guys always want competitive play against good people. So, I'm thinking about doing this GB series, and if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to putting it up, some good footage, and thanks a lot. Have a good weekend, guys.